Wheels are one of the first things any petrol head will change after getting a car, but there are many different materials, constructions and assemblies, so which one is best? Steel wheels were a standard in the bygone era of cars, as they were simple to press out of billet steel, creating a strong and usable wheel for a cheap price. The drawback was that weight increased due to steel's hardy makeup. Alloy wheels were once the highest level of wheel. Based on a mix of aluminium and nickel, or magnesium and nickel, alloy wheels were much lighter yet just as strong as the equivalent steel wheel. Nowadays the cost has dropped, allowing even your base model hatchback to come standard with alloy wheels. Carbon wheels took this one step further, by dropping weight even more but keeping an incredible amount of strength. A giant spindle spins strands of carbon until it weaves together, making an unbelievably strong and light material. The biggest drawback to this is the cost. A set of full carbon wheels can run you into the tens of thousands mark. Wheels have multiple different types of construction, but the main types are forged and cast. When a wheel is cast, molten metal is poured into a mold and as it cools, it becomes hard and strong. There are two main ways that this casting process is done. Gravity casting simply relies on pouring the molten metal into the mold with gravity alone, while low pressure casting pumps the molten metal into the mold at a faster speed and under pressure, helping to prevent any bubbles forming in the cast that would weaken the wheel. Forging is generally considered the best method for creating a wheel. Put simply, forging reduces the size of the grains inside the metal, making them more fine and stronger, not allowing any strength to be lost while the metal is bent around into shape. Instead of a mould being used, a single piece of aluminium billet is heated and shaped into place with over 13,000 pounds of force. Then, CNC mill cuts the design into the block, giving the incredibly strong end result a good looking face. You may have heard of one piece, two piece and three piece wheels, but what do they mean? A one piece is simple in construction, it has no parts other than its main wheel and face construction. A two piece wheel naturally has two pieces to it, a face and a barrel. The face is held onto the barrel with bolts that go all the way around. The creation of split rims was so that race teams could easily change widths of wheels without having to get a brand new mould. A three piece wheel has an extra piece, and that comes in the form of a removable front lip. In fact, the barrel is split into two pieces, further allowing you to change the size of your barrel and change offset values to dial in perfect fitment. In the end, it's down to preference, and everyone has their favourite type of wheel design, so what's yours?